Judicial Watch is a right-wing group. They do uh, a lot of activism to convince the American public that voter fraud is a big issue. And back in December, they, in conjunction with Breitbart.com, the great journalists at Breitbart.com, hey. conducted a poll of 1,000 Americans on the issue of voter fraud. And so before they asked them about voter fraud, they asked them about corruption in D.C. I feel like they might be priming them to be, uh, yeah. to be skeptical. but. Whatever. Uh, then they asked them this question. Uh, voter fraud occurs when people who are not eligible to vote do so anyway, or when one voter casts multiple ballots, ballots in a single election. How important of an issue do you think this is, or how big of a problem do you think this is? Uh, here are the results that they got back in December. Just 36% think it's a major problem. So still, more than one third of the country think it's a major problem, voter fraud right now in America. 39% a minor problem. Only 15% I think correctly know that it is not a problem at all. Now if you break this down politically, 53% of Republicans consider it to be a major problem, 26% of Democrats, 33% of Independents, exactly the sort of breakdown that I would expect. Although it's a bit disheartening, one four, one in four. Six percent of Democrats think it's a major, major problem. problem. And but yeah, look, I know what you're going to say. Let me say it before you do, oh. so I can take the credit for it. <laughs> no, like you can't believe anything published by this, you know, organization. Right. Yeah, of yeah. course they're going to skew the numbers. They're going to prime the respondents. They want to get mm -hmm. a certain percentage so they can make the argument that we need to pass tougher, vote, you know, voter legislation. ID laws, what have you. So I don't, they're crazy. I don't believe this at all. So this mm. is what happens when you don't have, a, when uh, you don't have ideas. Yeah. So you, usually the way you win elections is you win the uh, battle of ideas in the electorate. Well, when you don't have any ideas, you try to suppress the vote. Mm -hmm. You try to get people to stop voting, and that's what's happening right now, especially when their biggest idea, which is Obamacare, they can't even take credit for, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So that, this is the result of a party with no ideas trying to still win elections. That's what this is. Yeah. So the, the leader of this group, Judicial Watch, came out with the results and said that the poll showed great concern over the ability of the country to have honest elections and that three quarters of adults say that voter fraud is a huge problem in the United States. Now, that three quarters of adults say it's a huge problem, that doesn't even fit in with his right. skewed poll of results. But he's <laughs> going to say that. He's the leader of the group. But I do think that this is a problem. Now, back in 2012, a Washington Post, they conducted a poll that found that 48% of Americans believed voter fraud to be a major problem. 33% minor, 14% not a problem at all. Now, those numbers are a little bit worse than what Judicial Watch found just in December. Who but that's, that? that's Washington Waffle? Post okay. back in 2012. So another, I mean, conservative institute. And that's the thing. It's yeah. like, who are they polling? Mm -hmm. Just 1,000 American voters. Like, you, okay, so you are a conservative uh, organization, a, conser a conservative um, publication, and you send out okay, I want people to answer these questions. Are you doing it with like web ads? Are you doing it to your mm -hmm. subscribers? Like how are you finding these individuals? Yeah. Their polling sample is probably heavily skewed mm -hmm. yeah, already. You want a representative sample. I don't know if that's the case. but I sincerely doubt it. Right, but I will say that it wouldn't be far-fetched for a chunk of the American population to believe that there is some sort of issue with voter fraud because do you think the majority of people have the time and the resources to sit down and study issues? Probably not. People are really busy with their lives, right? So what they hear in the press is, okay, you know, Republicans are trying to pass this legislation, voter ID laws, mm -hmm. and I if you look at it at a very superficial level, it sounds reasonable. Yes. And if you hear one side say there's a huge problem with voter fraud, it's somehow gonna, you know, sink in. You're gonna mm -hmm. absorb that as if it's fact. Completely. I mean, in enough of the political conversation, enough of the stories that we see published in in major outlets are about voter fraud and about voter ID. So that's mm -hmm going to enter people's consciousness. And what most people don't realize is that it's something like, what, what does it say in here? You're 39 times more likely to be struck by lightning. Yeah, and 3,500 times more likely to report a UFO encounter. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's That's not, insane. It's not yeah. an issue. It's, it's an, not it's an a issue complete at all. Exactly. So well, I think these are these numbers are the results of misinformed or uninformed electorate. Mm -hmm. the, the news media hasn't really focused on it. They've only focused on, and then when they do focus on it, they give that bullshit two sides of the yeah, story exactly. thing. Like this guy says this and this guy says that. Ah, what's the answer? We'll never know. Yeah, they never yeah. just say it's not a real issue. Right. This is fear mongering. That's the end of the conversation. Because that would be so they would say that that's taking a position. You're not just reporting. You're yeah. now. Um, editorializing, which is mm -hmm. bullshit. Which is no. bullshit if you have facts in front of you. <laughs> exactly. If you say there is this much voter fraud in the country, let me report that, and that's it. Is, Draw your own conclusion. Is the Pacific Ocean full of salt water? We don't, they say it isn't. They say <laughs> it is. I don't know.